Writers use specific examples that help illustrate their ideas. Let's practice using examples to show our readers what we mean. Please have your LearnZillion practice sheet in front of you because you will need it during this lesson. An example is something that proves a point or represents a larger group. Writers use examples to help their readers understand what they're talking about. If you are trying to inform your reader about how camouflage helps predators to hunt their prey, you would want to give lots of details and facts about this topic, like this. Camouflage helps predators sneak up on their prey. Some predators have patterns on their skin or fur that makes them difficult to see. But to really make it clear what I'm talking about, I need to use an example that will help my reader build a clear picture in their mind, like this. Camouflage helps predators sneak up on their prey. Some predators have patterns on their skin or fur that makes them difficult to see. For example, tigers have black stripes that help them blend into tall grass. By giving an example, readers are able to see exactly what it is I'm talking about. Examples help us prove our ideas or clarify information for our readers. In this text, my example of the tiger helped me prove the idea that camouflage helps predators sneak up on their prey. Here's a draft of an essay about how animals use color that I have been working on. Have you ever looked at a butterfly or a tiger and wondered why it was a certain color? Animals have many different colors, but these patterns are not just for decoration. In fact, these colors help animals survive. One way that color can help animals is as a warning. Many poisonous frogs, snakes, and even butterflies advertise how dangerous they are so that predators will leave them alone. The color of some harmless species makes them look like dangerous animals. By pretending to be dangerous, these harmless creatures keep themselves safe. Another way color benefits animals is as camouflage. Many creatures are the same color as their environments. This helps them to blend in, concealing them from predators. However, predators can also blend into their surroundings, allowing them to sneak up on their prey. As you can see, an animal's color is not just for decoration. Color can serve as a warning to other animals and as camouflage to hide from both predators and prey. Without their amazing colors, many animals would not be able to survive. I realize when I read this that I haven't used any examples to help my reader understand what I'm talking about and to prove my ideas. I need to revise my writing to include some examples that will help illustrate my ideas. Let's start by looking at this paragraph from my essay. Hmm, what's the main idea that I'm trying to prove here? This paragraph is all about how color can help animals as a warning. Here, I state that color can show how dangerous they are so they won't get eaten. But I didn't give any examples to support this. I need to look back at the article I took this information from to find more evidence that proves this. I'm looking for a specific example of an animal's color that warns it is dangerous. Hmm, I see an example of this here about the poison dart frog. This example helps prove that color can be a warning. Now, let's look for another example that helps prove our idea. On your practice sheet, underline a different example of an animal who has coloring which warns that it is dangerous. Pause the video now and press play when you are done. Let's see how you did. When I read this article, I see that another example of an animal with color warning it is dangerous is the banded coral snake. Let's revise this paragraph to include these examples. 
Now my reader can see exactly what I'm talking about. We're making some great progress supporting our ideas with examples. However, I notice that I have another idea in this paragraph that I haven't supported with at least one clear example. Here, I talk about how some animals' color mimics or copies other, more dangerous animals and tricks predators into leaving them alone. What a cool adaptation! Now, I need to go back and find an example to support it and then revise my paragraph. Look back at the article for a specific example that supports this idea. Then, Revise our paragraph to include it on your practice sheet. Pause the video now and push play when you are done. Let's check your work. When I read this article, I see that the milk snake tricks predators into thinking it is dangerous because of its color. That's a perfect example of an animal that pretends to be dangerous. Here's how I chose to revise this sentence. There are many ways you could have written this. The important thing is that you used a specific example to prove this idea. Also, remember that we never just copy things from an article we use. I always put ideas into my own words. Now that you know how to find specific examples and revise our writing to prove your ideas, let's practice with the next paragraph in our text. Reread this paragraph and look in the article for specific examples that will help prove how color helps animals hide. Then, rewrite this paragraph on your practice sheet to include these specific examples. Pause the video now and push play when you are done. When I read this, I see that there are two ideas here, that colors help animals hide from predators, and that color helps predators to hide from their prey. Looking at my article, I see that there is an example of color helping animals to hide from predators here. And examples of color helping predators to sneak up on their prey here. Here's how I revised my paragraph to include these examples. Yours can look different, but it should include an example that proves each of these ideas. Also, make sure you put these examples in your own words. Now that we've revised our text to include specific examples that develop our topic, let's take another look at our draft. Have you ever looked at a butterfly or a tiger and wondered why it was a certain color? Animals have many different colors, but these patterns are not just for decoration. In fact, these colors help animals survive. One way that color can help animals is as a warning. Many poisonous frogs, snakes, and even butterflies advertise how dangerous they are so that predators will leave them alone. For example, the poison dart frog uses bright blue and yellow skin to warn predators that they are dangerous to eat. Another example is the coral snake, which has bright rings on its body that tell other animals to leave it alone. The color of some harmless species makes them look like dangerous animals. By pretending to be dangerous, these harmless creatures keep themselves safe. For instance, the milk snake is harmless, but because it has the same colors as the venomous coral snake, it is usually left alone. Another way color benefits animals is as camouflage. Many creatures are the same color as their environments. This helps them to blend in, concealing them from predators. For example, Deer and squirrels are the same color as the forest floor, which helps them hide. However, predators can also blend into their surroundings, allowing them to sneak up on their prey. Sharks and dolphins are examples of predators whose color helps them hide from their prey. Their gray and blue coloring helps them blend into the ocean. As you can see, an animal's color is not just for decoration. 
Color can serve as a warning to other animals and as camouflage to hide both predators and prey. Without their amazing colors, many animals would not be able to survive. Wow! Adding these examples has made my ideas so much easier to understand. Instead of just claiming that color can help animals as a warning and as camouflage, I've given specific examples that prove it. By supporting my ideas with evidence, I can help my reader understand how animals' colors help them survive. Now it's your turn. Read this draft and revise it using what you have learned in this lesson. Pause the video now and push play when you are done. Look at your own writing and revise it to include specific examples that support your ideas. Now you know how to use examples to illustrate your ideas and develop your topic. This will help your reader understand what you are trying to teach them.